example we are looking at the exodia os so this is the boot menu of exodia os and it's uh, based on uh, arch linux and us uh, and uses the bspwm a desktop environment so i'm running it on a virtual machine uh, which is a virtual uh, vmware with 80 gb of hard disk 4 gb of ram and uh, with two processors and my cpu is the 12th gen i5 so it's going to take a few more seconds and we should be seeing our desktop layout completely loaded so other than that i don't know anything about this uh, linux distro because it's uh, clearly new i didn't even make any videos on this in the past days or uh, past year or something like that in my channel so it's clearly new So I already made a videos on uh, Linux Mint 21.2 which is really not available in the official website but uh, I already made a content on it so if you want to check that out you can check it out and uh, I already made also the Debian 13 videos uh, in the yesterday's video and uh, uh, today's video because I'll be posting two videos daily so the one uh, video is Exodia OS and the other one will be Debian 13 which is already available in the uh, channel so if you want to check that out you can check that out after watching this video so again it should take like a maximum of uh, 1 minute 30 seconds or like a minimum of 30 to 40 seconds that's the basic timing of uh, every linux distro the stable one uh, but if it's a beta release or like a development release it should be taking uh, more time here is our uh, welcome screen and we should be seeing our BSPWM uh, desktop environment in any minute. So still waiting. It's almost like uh, 45 seconds. So I think it completely depends on the uh, PC. I have the 12th gen i5 but uh, I don't know. It sh this is the usual timing of this Linux distro to boot up or maybe some other reason we don't know so this is the latest version but the version name of the iso file is like a 2022 but uh, it is released in uh, 2023 here is our desktop environment let's first change the display resolution because it looks pretty odd right now so i think it automatically uh, changed the resolution like uh, other linux is true So there is a bit of lag and delay in the uh, Linux distro. So let's still wait for that. So here are the applications, some other options. So BSPWM restart. Let's restart it so that it can fix the everything here. It fixed. So even uh, so, if you get this type of error, just uh, go to the app menu and uh, do that thing as uh, I did. Just restart the BSPWM. And you should be good i guess so here is the uh, installer like a launch calamaris installer let's uh, try to launch it i think the password should be exodia yes it is first i'm going to show you the installation process and uh, go to other options so as you can see it is taking a bit of long time here i tried this in the uh, morning but uh, it did the same thing it took uh, ages to load everything and here you can see the volume thing a uh, best uh, uh, game which we played when we were kids like 90s kids know this pac-man game uh, it looks kind of pac-man uh, face so the installer is launched so Calamaris installer version is here. Click on OK. After opening the installer, this should be gone, but uh, it is still like that. No problem. Let's ignore that thing. And click on Next. Let's try to close this thing the 
it's not even moving doing anything so it's very hard let's uh, try to close this thing it's a shutdown button so let's exit thing you will get the same thing again To be honest, I really hate this desktop environment. It doesn't uh, allow me to do something like that. It's a bit of uh, a lag. Let's try to restart it again. Let's see if it works. I think now it's oh, it will open again with the another installer, I guess, or the welcome screen. Now we are stuck with it. Let's try to do other things. Can't we just escape this thing? Can't do anything. Let's uh, continue like this. You need to choose uh, click on next for the keyboard. I don't know it helped I guess. Let's go to the accessories about XFCE. So here is the XFCE. It took ages to go that thing. So here is the Exoria uh, with the XFC 4.16. Uh, the latest version is like a 4.18 right now, but the we are getting like a 4.16 here, and the memory is like a 4 GB. Let's close this thing and uh, check all the uh, applications, like a system monitor if it's available. Here is the about version is 2022.12 i guess this is the older version we will get we will be getting there we don't have the uh, system monitor here i guess we have a menu and the like a desktop let's open the desktop and see everything is taking ages here I don't know why they choose this uh, uh, desktop environment. They're good at des designing, but uh, it's it would be better if they choose like some other desktop environments. The normal uh, uh, people using desktop environments like uh, KDE Plasma, GNOME, XFC, like that. They're already using XFC, but. Uh, they're just using the apps but instead of that uh, they have been used the some other desktop environments like uh, lxqt also it will be better lxqt lxde xfce gnome kde plasma these are all the best options so no problem let's uh, try to we try neofetch here is the neofetch information complete information we're good at designing but the desktop environment uh, in my opinion is the worst i guess no problem let's uh, type in other commands which is uh, inxi-sv8 this is a command which will grab complete information but uh, it didn't uh, it's not found in it so let's type in other commands instead of cat it's double c let's uh, close that thing cat forum slash etc forum slash issue hit enter it's exodia os so let's type in hestop here is the hestop as you can see cpu is uh, uh, on the heavy side it's using a lot of cpu here without opening anything but uh, the memory is also almost like a 1.7 gb so keep that in mind to use this linux distro or not so let's click uh, f let's type exit and close this thing so the keyboard is like uh, double pressing uh, on the linux distro i don't know why let's keep on going on that 
So this is the some of the desktop features as you can see CPU, RAM, uh, volumes, time, date. I don't know what it is and the media player settings I guess these are some of the web apps here terminal powershell web browser file manager text editor as you can see you are back with the uh, installer or the welcome screen here it was on the settings So the version of the file manager is 4.16.11 let's close this thing nothing is properly working in this os or the linux is true i need to click on double uh, twice so things could work so these are all the applications available so let's go with the all the applications so here is the application list completely let's go through all these things as you can see on the graphics three apps internet we have almost two best browsers so these are all the other apps exodia other settings you have appearance all these things you can customize the things here so these are all the uh, applications which comes pre-installed so here is the stacer cpu 42 percent ram uh, 2 gb disk all the things let's uh, close this thing I don't know what happened I think it's uh, it locked itself session bspwm so let's type in the password xodia click on enter and here the CPU went to 100% for some reason so let's uh, launch Calamares We need to type in the password again. Who puts the password for the installer? I don't know. No problem. Let's uh, go with it. First, you need to choose the language. Click on next. And again, you don't uh, have the option to close. About BSPWM. I think there should be some like a short for shortcut to close this thing but uh, i tried uh, it just uh, log out uh, the session so this is the issue with this uh, linux distro can't exit uh, window control shift alt can't do anything choose your location you can choose within like here try to ignore the uh, pop-up on the screen can't do anything until we know everything about this uh, uh, Linux is true there should be some shortcuts to close this thing I tried every shortcut if you know any shortcut if you want to try it I don't recommend this Linux is true but if you want to still try it you can do that so this was the keyboard layout a keyboard model choose your keyboard model click on next choose your uh, disk if you want to install i don't know who will try this linux distro but if you're going to try uh, you are a god click on next you need to provide your username password all the same things in the every linux distro so no need to show everything and you should be seeing a summary and installation and finish that's it so let's uh, close this thing and again we should be stuck with the application menu you need to uh, like uh, click uh, two to three times to open everything so it's a pain so let's uh, handle like that so these are all the pre-installed apps so there is nothing 
to show here again same everything and you don't get the library office and some of the like a gimp all the important apps so these are all the basic things but uh, still the linux distro uh, takes a lot of resources for some reason so no problem let's uh, go to the internet open the firefox web browser and i'm going to show you how to download this uh, linux distro and end the video uh, because it is a pain to even use this linux distro not because the uh, shortcuts to close the application it's because the you need to type in like a uh, two to three times uh, in the keyboard or in the mouse like you need to click two to two, three three times to open something and uh, it's on the heavy resource consuming so i'm not going to recommend this linux distro if you still want to try it you can uh, try it so if you try it you just let me know in the comment section below whether it was same for you or not so i downloaded it from the uh, official website so let's type in the uh, search term which is Exodia OS and I think uh, it didn't allow me to type in OS let's see it's really bad to use this Linux distro it just like uh, typed in Exodia it didn't type uh, OS so we need to type it again it is very bad to be honest in my opinion it's uh, i don't know again you saw it i typed os but again it came with the just exodia let's type in again it didn't allow me to type in as you can see i typed in os let's see again let's search it we have luck or not this time thank god it worked so this is the website which is in github so i'm using a vpn but uh, i have the fastest internet but it's still taking a lot of time to open everything and as you can see there is a lot of glitches going on in the screen it's usual in the laptop but it is taking a lot of uh, things in the linux distro in this type of linux distro i mean so downloads are 2.1k i don't know uh, who downloaded this uh, linux distro the passwords are uh, here as you can see user live user and the password is exodia and the other additions are like a predator and wireless i am using a home edition it's consuming a lot of resources so it's almost like a 2.2 2 GB or 3 GB nearly. So here are the downloads. I choose the Mega. Uh, if you go with the source forge or the force torrent, there are torrent files. So if you want to download like a HTTPS servers, you can go with the download Mega. So these are all the things. If you want to read it on your own, you can read it. So that's it, I guess. So let's end this video and... Uh, suffer this uh, problem let's close this thing so that was the uh, bad experience with the exodia os so it's clearly up to you to choose this linux distro or not i'm not going to recommend but if you want to try it uh, i showed you how to download it so this is the uh, shutdown option so if it works for you and if it works great for you please let me know in the comments below so i think that's it for the video again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video there's already a video in the youtube of debian 13 today so i'll be posting two videos so if you want to check that out you can check that out again thanks for watching peace out as you can see shutdown is also not working for me let's type in like a click in two times are you sure? Yes, again, two times. Thank God to end this misery.